CataractCoach.com. The capsule just split wide open. Now what do you want to do? Needle compression did not work so well in this case of an intumescent white cataract. So let's watch this anonymous resident who's operating. So starting off with a paracentesis, here we go. Surgeon sitting superiorly. Patient's a little bit all over the place. Maybe you want a good peribulbar or retrobulbar block here. And now it looks like putting in an air bubble. Okay, that's reasonable. And it's going to be the tripan blue dye to follow. Hey, did I tell you about retinarounds.com? If you're a young resident surgeon or a young beginning surgeon, you need to watch the retina videos. You need to learn. You got to learn everything. Don't sell yourself short. Remember, go to retinarounds.com or search your channel. Sign up for the daily email. Plus, youtube.com slash at retinarounds. Check it out. Don't make me tell you again. Now, here comes the viscoelastic inside the eye here. Checking the pressure. Make sure the IOP is nice and high. Now, you may be better off doing this decompression through the paracentesis without the main incision. Why? Well, as soon as you make the main incision, now that incision is larger. You're going to get viscoelastic prolapsing out of it. Look, it's already coming out. And you're not going to be able to get as high of an IOP inside the eye. You can't have as much anterior capsule flattening from the viscoelastic. So now, poke it in with a needle, and you know what's going to happen here. I don't even have to tell you. Pow, there it is. Wow, wow, wow. Now it's already split wide open. What are you going to do here? What should you do? Surgeon's coming in with some micro scissors. Going to cut this. Okay. Going to continue to maybe tear a rexus or at least a larger capsule opening here. I'd want to get this thing decompressed already. You've already got it split. That's okay. It's already done. What's done is done. See how this wants to run out? Because there's still some pressure there. Definitely with this big swollen lens nucleus. But now you have a nice large opening. Let's aspirate this out. Okay, I like that you're using a little more magnification here. Going into the phaco probe, and there's nothing to groove. Look, see, it just crumbles apart, and it's just gone. I told you. This is a typical intumescent white cataract in a young person. Look at those eyelashes, which are reasonably draped. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Now, going in here by manual IA, be careful. Don't grab the anterior caps when you're doing this because if you grab it where the capsule ran out, you can cause it to zzz, rip all the way back to the posterior capsule too. So can I be less aggressive on this? I just worry about that central opacity there in the middle. That's the one that's going to affect the patient's vision. I wouldn't care so much about polishing up this lens capsule bag equator. That's not, to me, doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. So again, going inside the eye here. Again, let's clean up that central dot there. What's that central dot? Obviously, we sped the video up here so we can get through it in a timely manner. But okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Again, that's the part. Get that central dot. That's what's going to affect the patient's vision for sure. Don't worry so much about the periphery and the lens equator, capsular bag. What do you know? Who cares? So in cleaning this up, what is that central dot there? That's what we want to worry about. Now let's get the lens in. Hydro implantation. Okay. Reasonable. Here comes the lens. Looks like a single piece going in the bag. That looks good. And now get the haptics opened up. Okay, you're pretty, you know what? Maybe leave it be. You can always do a YAG capsulotomy later. I do appreciate that. Okay, don't mess with the posterior capsule. Then sealing up the incision here. All right, you got out of it. Now, could you have prevented this? Now, you can't 100% have success with an intubescent white cataract. Those are the things 100. But you can do a lot better. And I think in this case, trying to do it through the paracentesis, do your decompression through the para. I think that'll make it a lot more useful because you can have a higher AC pressure and flatten out the lens cap. So leave your comment below. What advice would you give to this young doctor in training? And remember, you better sign up for retinarounds.com. That free daily email is going to teach you a lot. And this stuff you need to know.